to my channel. Today I have a photo shoot and I'm really excited about it because it's a New Year's Eve photo shoot. I've never done one of those before and I've already curled my hair. I'm just getting ready to go. I need to trim my cuticles and moisturize them because it has been so dry lately that even though I just did my nails, the cuticles look so rough because they're so dry. Today's shoot is with Maria, and you might remember a few of the other shoots that I've done with her. My first ever photo shoot vlog was with her. The idea for this shoot is definitely typical New Year's Eve glamour. We're doing disco balls and like tinsel, silver, and gold. I'm excited about it. Alright, I have trimmed my cuticles a little bit. I'm going to put on a bunch of lotion. Now I'm going to put on cuticle oil. Much better. Now I need to fly through this makeup today. I had a lot going on earlier and it's really easy to get behind schedule. she always has me put on false lashes. I don't often put on false lashes so it's a little bit of a challenge and a risk. Let's see how it goes. Is this still very high? No it's not. Oh my gosh I almost did that completely wrong. Okay it's not really sticking. Maybe the glue dried too much. All right they're on. Let's do the next one. Okay, this one also did not all stick. This one just does not want to look good. Oh my gosh, this lash is going to be so difficult. Alright, so the lashes and I just did not go on today. And the one on the right, uh, I hope she is okay with it because it just does not look good up close so we'll see what she says but i'm just gonna head to her house because now i'm really late and i just need to do mascara and lips but i feel like i should just go and do it there once i got to maria's house i finished my makeup and also managed to get lipstick on my teeth but maria was just fine with the lashes we weren't doing any close-up beauty portraits today, so there was a little bit of room for error. She had a few sparkly dresses for me to pick from, and this is the one we liked the most. After getting dressed, she teased my hair to give it volume, and we started shooting. To capture the New Year's Eve vibe, Maria had hung some silver tinsel as a backdrop, placed a reflective mylar sheet on the ground for a glam look and also to bounce light, and set up a spotlight as well as a strobe light to light up the whole area of the photo. The strobe light was having some issues firing, so you'll see at the end when I show you the photos, some are very bright, and that's when the light fired, and others are dark when it didn't fire. But both effects were really cool, and we were happy with either outcome. I also had some disco balls to work with as props, which was so fun, I love a disco ball. And what's cool about disco balls is that they reflect light and if you hit it just right, it also creates a sparkle from the flash. I only have footage from this first set of shots that we did. We also did some shots sitting in a stool. We did some with me behind the tinsel and also laying on the ground. And you'll see that when I show you the photos in three, two, one. When I got home, everyone in my house was taking a nap, so I silently filmed an outro. As always, I had a wonderful time working with Maria. She is fantastic. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below your New Year's resolution. Don't forget to follow me on social media to see more content about modeling, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!